and Team Assassins, Complexity Derby and Complexity Cats, now up 2-0 to zero. in this best of seven set. Select on Optic Zero. Need to find their comfort zone. Uh, so far, these first two games have involved bits of cheese sort of everywhere, so we'll see if they try to stay inside their own base and build things this time instead of just branching out and building cannons and things like that. Uh, this is actually sort of a difficult map to do a cannon rush on. It's pretty easy to spot. Um, that sort of thing, just because you have that shared base. If you ever see something walk into your main, you'll know right away that it's staying in there. So uh, <laughs> we do have Complexity Cats as the yellow Zerg here up in the top right, his teammate. As always, Complexity Druby as the blue Terran on the flip side. We've got Dignitas Select as the red Terran, and his teammate once again is FXO Optic Zero playing as the pink Protoss from South Korea at the moment. So um, maybe Cats and Druby will continue picking on Optic Zero, hoping that latency will have some, uh, some sort of effect on his gameplay. And thus far, it might have. Who knows? Um, although last time it was mostly, mostly, mostly just build order and things like that. So uh, let's see what assassins will do here. I'm not surprised to see this at all out of Optic Zero and Select. Every time they've been here on Twilight Fortress, this is the way they've handled the um, they've handled the build. This is pretty easy to take your natural expansion as well. So I would not be terribly surprised to see another Forge fast expand out of Optic Zero. He'll be able to pull it off a little bit more effectively here because Select is going to be able to assist him in the wall end, and he'll be able to drop a Photon Cannon back here for defense so Select can free up his resources and doesn't need to put down any sort of a, um, any sort of a bunker. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes my I just start daydreaming and, and like have my mind wandering uh, a little bit further into the game just because, you know, these first few minutes usually play out the same unless you see any cheese and... I don't see any red and pink over in the yellow-blue side. I don't see any yellow-blue over in the red and pink side. So I just start imagining things that can happen in, in the later game. But right now, Cats dropping a pool first instead of hatch first, even though this is sort of a safer uh, map to actually do that on. And Optic Zero and uh, Select actually doing what I expected out of them, that Forge coming first for Optic Zero. Again, we have seen Optic Zero and Select show some dominance here on this map, and that's as a result of uh, select teching very quickly and optic zero forge fast expanding absolutely so we'll see what ends up happening here cats taking an expansion over at the top left hand corner doesn't want to give away the expansion inside of his base so he decides to go straight for the gold going for the gold now uh Truby does manage to get back with his SEV. I'm not sure what he went out and scouted. Maybe it was just a full return trip. There we go. There's the photon cannon in the mineral line. I was, or not the mineral line, in the wall that I was talking about before. And that's going to allow Optic Zero to remain relatively defended and free up those resources for Select so he can go right into that Banshee. He does love the proxy Banshee. And if we noticed, Katz already has an Overlord at that likely position where uh, Select would do some sort of a proxy starport. Optic Zero is actually scouting again through the middle of the map, perhaps going to go check out the gold base, perhaps going to be dropping a pylon somewhere nearby. He is actually going to check the gold base here uh, and find that expansion from Cats, so I don't know if that's just uh, <laughs> if that's just Star Sense or what, but he is going to try and do the cannon rush that we've seen out of him several times so far in this uh, tournament. Yep, Drewby's Drewby, responding very quickly, though. That's yep, good. absolutely. Drewby's already coming back with his Marauders. He's going to force a cancel on that pylon. This warp probe is going to die. There it goes. Cancel the pylon. So now we have the transfer coming over from Cats. And I don't believe the starport is going to be... Nope, it is not going to be proxied in any way, shape, or form. Select just going for a Blue Flame Hellion build. All right, Blue Flame Hellion's a little bit of a deviation from what we've seen out of Select so far. Optic Zero does have his Nexus almost finished, and he is not... Wait, see, there's the Cyber Nexus core just starting. I was about to say I don't see a Cyber core yet. There it is. So we may very well go right into the heavy heavy stargate production because he will have three assimilators running very quickly that blue flame hellion choice is kind of interesting to me i have to wonder if he's doing that just because cats took that gold base and it's likely to be a little bit less defended or harder to defend so blue flame hellions if they go anywhere but that gold base i'll be a little bit surprised um, inside the main of Druby, he's throwing up turrets already. I mean, Select has that reputation, and now basically we've seen 100 games of his now where he just 
gets that Banshee very quickly, but Select actually switching it up a little bit. He's getting a Medivac this time around to perhaps do some Blue Flame Hellion drops in the near future. And it looks like we're just going to have a super aggressive Baneling Bust plus Marauder play. So tons of Marauders being rallied in for Druby. He's just continually streaming them in. The Baneling Nest is done, and Cats could do a big bust here in a second. If they're able to get through the Supply Depot, those Marauders should buffer enough damage that they can get on by and start disrupting the production. So this is going to be very, very interesting. And where did that drop end up going? There it is, over on the left-hand side. Four Blue Flame Hellions making their way up. Double Stargate is coming down for Optic Zero like I thought was going to happen, but may not be enough time to take all of these Banelings. We already have seven in production. There's going to be more in just a bit. That's actually a great number of Banelings to make if you can guarantee that they actually strike the Supply Depot. That way you're not wasting any supply um, trying to break down that wall. But the four Hellions coming in now getting dropped immediately. Katz does have vision of it there with that Overlord. Queen just auto-moving over there. He does pull some drones from the right side and just lets the rest of them roast. Uh, at least he managed to save something. And that's actually just to tie up those Hellions long enough for those drones to actually escape. Otherwise, Select may have killed all of them. So, Banelings are going to come up first. Cannons that don't manage to kill any of those Banelings. So, again, that's like the perfect number. Only one Baneling remains there, and the rest of these Speedlings can just surround everything. All these Marauders just cruising through those pylons and cannons. Now, this Viking lands, and there's only a handful of Marines here. This could actually be very, a very, very quick downfall here for Optic Zero and Select. Uh, Marauders all over the ground. Phoenix is lifting one at a time. Not going to be fast enough with that sheer number. And uh, lots of probes being pulled. They have stem. They have concussive shells. The Blue Flame Hellions have made it into the main now of Cats, but that Queen should be able to help pick those off as well as those Marauders. So Cats and Druby have very few workers left, but Optic Zero and Select have few buildings left <laughs> yeah, at this point. Yeah, and that just kind of keeps going down as well. Because now Select down to three supply. Optic Zero down to 34 supply, but his probes are just waiting to get torn up. Select is forced to GG. Optic Zero leaves as well. That means we have a 3-0 lead now. Assassin. They're so good. <laughs> Cats they and Trippy are. are so good at 2v2. It's insane.